DJI just released the brand new Osmo Action 5 and GoPro just released the brand new Hero 13 Black. Let's see which one is best for you. First things first, I am a motorcyclist, not a videographer. That means there are three important things that I'm looking for in an action camera when I document my motorcycling adventures. Number one is audio, number two is ease of use, and number three is image quality. In this video, I'm gonna use both cameras in a moto vlog setting, a normal vlog setting, and a B-roll setting. Let me know which one you think is better. Part of the test I need to do on these cameras is an actual face-to-face -face vlog. I'm gonna be testing the audio in both of these cameras, the microphone. I am not using an external mic, but I wanted to see what it looks like without super view and without a microphone. So on each camera, I am filming in 4K at linear resolution. Um, which means there's less warping, it's not super warped, and I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little audio. Behind me, there is a freeway, so there's going to be a lot of ambient noise, we have cars going by, and it's a little loud. So right now I'm speaking directly to the DJI Action 5 with no external mic. I don't have any wind noise protection on whatsoever, but it's actually not that windy. So this is what it sounds like, and then immediately switching my GoPro just shut off. The GoPro literally just shut off. It's not even that hot. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make this up. This is how I'm filming. I'll turn you around so you can see it a bit clearer. I'm filming side by side. I started each camera at the exact same time and the GoPro literally just shut off. It's not on at all. <laughs> so reliable. Now that that's over, let's go ahead and turn the GoPro back on. Should be synced back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch from this Action 5 audio over to the GoPro 13 audio. So it's the exact same audio, exact same settings. I don't have any wind noise deflection on, and this is what it sounds like. I will say I do think when I'm personally talking to the cameras in a vlog style like this, the DJI has better audio straight out of camera. Um, I have noticed historically when I put the cameras on my helmet and I vlog in uh, my helmet setting with the wind noise and the microphone, it always tends to sound a little bit better in the GoPro, but once again, you have to have the media mod for it and that is an absolute nightmare. So now let's go ahead and pop these cameras on my helmet and see what they sound like in a moto vlog. Okay, so I have the microphone which is run all through my helmet and it actually you can see the mic right here you can also attach a wireless microphone dji does offer a wireless mic and it works really really well i use it in a lot of my filming but i don't have it currently set up in my helmet so i might do a whole new helmet install video this winter if you guys are interested in seeing that leave a comment down below so I have it plugged into the mic adapter here, which you can see is a bit cumbersome, but nowhere near as heavy and cumbersome as the GoPro with the media mod kit. Um, so yeah, not super clean, but let's go see how it sounds when we ride. So I am filming on all standard settings. I'm a very lazy videographer, a lazy moto vlogger, 
and I don't use a lot of custom presets. I want to open these cameras straight out of the box and have them work. And that's exactly what I'm testing in this video. All right, so this is the audio in the DJI. The first thing I notice immediately, this camera is significantly lighter on my helmet than the GoPro is in the media mod. And when I say that, I mean it. Um, I've actually stopped doing a lot of moto vlogging here lately because of how fatiguing having a camera on my helmet has been. So with the DJI, I do have it set up to run a lavalier mic into the mic adapter. It's not super sexy, but hey, it gets the job done. One thing I have noticed about DJI over GoPro is you have the opportunity to adjust the gain if you're using an external microphone. And that's huge. I've never been able to physically adjust the gain in the uh, GoPro, but I will say I have always been relatively pleased with the audio that comes out of the GoPro using either the media mod or the mic adapter. Um, I have had to play around a lot with the DJI to try to get the better mic settings. There's so much gravel in the road today. So currently I am filming at a gain of plus six. I tested it at negative four as well as zero and it just kind of sounded a little low. And I figured with the motorcycle and the wind noise, the sound of the motor and all of that stuff that we might need a little help. So hopefully it sounds good. I have not tested it yet, but very excited and very pleased that I have that control. The one thing I have been noticing between the two cameras is the fact that I can turn both cameras on at the exact same time and every single time the DJI turns on faster. And y'all, that is huge. So if you don't know how I film, I use the quick turn on the quick record button. So it's a button at the very top of the camera. And once you press it, it'll automatically turn on and start recording. I turn it off and on very often when I'm filming and that is strictly to conserve battery. So I don't film nonstop all day, every day. I pick and choose when I want to film. And sometimes when you're on the motorcycle, you see something crazy and you wanna turn your camera on really fast. First of all, GoPro doesn't turn on half the time I use it. And second, the GoPro takes a solid five to six seconds to turn on and start recording. The Action 5 takes about two. So far, I really love the weight. I am working on a way to tidy up my helmet. I might be uh, putting together a new moto vlogging helmet this winter. So if you guys would like to see a video on how I do that, leave a comment down below. I'd love to make that video for you. But as of right now, it's so light. I genuinely don't even notice I have a camera on my head and that is a huge benefit. That's it's actually really nice. Another favorite thing of mine, this camera standard automatically comes with a magnetic quick release system. I tried to buy one for my GoPro and it wouldn't fit in the media mod, which it claimed that it would, it didn't. And I had to send, it was like a $40 aftermarket piece that I had to buy for the GoPro. DJI automatically puts it on all of their action cameras. You can film vertical or horizontal, and it is a game changer. 10 out of 10, love that feature. So that is our quick little moto vlog for the Osmo Action 5. Let's go ahead and switch over to the GoPro and see how the moto vlog audio compares. Alrighty, just switched over into the GoPro. And as I mentioned before, I have historically preferred the GoPro audio settings in the helmet over the DJI. So I'm excited to see what the comparison sounds like. Again, that has been the one and only redeeming factor of why I have continued to use GoPro products is because the audio is consistent. The camera is not, the audio is when the audio wants to work. <laughs> now, the thing about both of these cameras that I might've already failed to mention is when you use the microphone adapter on the DJI, which I'm filming with you guys right now, when you use the microphone adapter on the DJI as well as the media mod or a mic adapter on the GoPro, they are no longer waterproof. So if you get caught in a rainstorm, you have to take your camera off. Um, a lot of the times I try to unplug the microphone from the media mod and then shut the little doors on the back. That still, it helps make it water resistant, but it does not make it waterproof. And that is a huge issue with sometimes trying to do long distance travel because I ride through a lot of rain, y'all. I really do. <laughs> and frying a $400 camera is not something I enjoy doing. So that being said, the DJI, something that I will probably have set up in the future, you can record. <sighs> I'm trying to talk to you guys right now and I just noticed that this is so much heavier 
and it is forcefully pushing down on my eyebrows and I actually like cannot see the road right now crazy how much heavier the GoPro is. Anyway, with the DJI, you can connect their external microphone and I definitely think that is going to be the way I go in the future when it comes to moto vlogging because I am tired of having so many microphones and cables and wires in my helmet. I'm just tired of it. At least with the external microphone, it is magnetic. I can fix the mic up here and talk to it. And when I'm done, I just take it out. And it's amazing because I cannot take the wire out of this microphone or out of this helmet. Hopefully the audio quality sounds a bit different so you can kind of get a gauge. Um, like I said, I have no control over the gain on the GoPro. So this camera right now is exactly what it sounds like. And this camera is only recording in mono which means it only films or records out of one speaker. So I have altered that in this uh, video for you guys. So they're both playing out of stereo. So hopefully you can tell a bit of a difference, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that'll do for the moto vlog section. I'm already ready to rip this thing off of my helmet because of how stinking heavy it is. Hopefully it didn't shut off again. Oh, okay. Whew, no. <laughs> Each camera has comparable capture settings, but I'm continuously noticing that the DJI has a longer battery life, quicker recording time, and obviously, more reliability. With the Osmo Action 5 coming in at $50 cheaper than the GoPro, I think it's safe to say I know which one will be more popular among creators. So which one did you think looks the best? If you guys want more information on the Osmo Action 5, I will have a link down in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be good, ride motorcycles, and I'll see you later.